Hello and welcome to yourstory.com. I'm Debulina. I'm Sutrishna and here are the top stories we covered this week. Bangalore's roads now predominantly have splashes of bright blue amidst the boring white caps. Thanks to Dockless bike sharing platform Yulu, users are finally looking to electric vehicles for the last mile commute. Getting a ride with Yulu is as easy as clicking a button. You pick a cycle or a bike from the nearest Yulu parking zone, unlock it using your phone and drop it to the nearest zone near your destination. No hassles included. But who actually services your demand and how do experts ensure that you get your ride? In our latest series, your story goes behind the scenes to peek into how a mere click allows you an easy breezy Yulu ride. With the GDP slipping down to 5% for the first quarter of this financial year, questions surrounding the state of Indian economy are plenty. It is in fact a steep fall for our GDP, the lowest in over 6 years. And in the face of this economic slowdown, job cuts, hiring freeze, factory shutdown and suspension of production are some of the headlines staring at us each day. But the question remains, will this slowdown which has hit other sectors like automobile, real estate and financial services impact the Indian startup ecosystem? The jury is still out on this as these are still the early days. However, there is also a sense of unease on what the future holds for Indian startups. Once an online order is placed, a lot happens before the order actually reaches your doorstep. You are regularly informed about the status and you get to track where exactly your order is. But once the order reaches you, you may or may not like it. In such cases, you either write a feedback to the company or request for a return. and the same pattern repeats again while it is extremely difficult for companies to handle thousands of customer issues every day post purchase customer engagement platforms like narvar are making the jobs of retailers easy founded in 2012 narvar handles customer communications for brands like gap levis sephora and bata catch founder amit sharma's conversation with your story about his company's journeys and his idea about technology bengaluru might have been an early bird in the startup ecosystem but it's now facing a steep competition from the national capital region if a report published by tai delhi ncr and zenov is any indication delhi ncr is in fact much ahead in this race with more than 7000 startups and 10 unicorns the region beats india's prominent startup hubs such as bengaluru mumbai and hyderabad Delhi NCR even accounts for over 50% of the cumulative valuation of the Indian startup ecosystem to the tune of 46 to 56 billion dollars. Can you relate storytelling with technology? Well, Pranit Khare, co-founder of Avid Secure, says storytelling is very important skill for all and especially for techies. He says that at the end of the day, techies and engineers build products for the customer and they need to tell the right story to them. At the age of 13 when everyone else was busy playing video games Pranit built one all by himself a graduate from IIT Roorkee he later went on to work with companies include McAfee and Inmobi he believes that technology keeps changing and evolving and if one strengthens their fundamentals nothing else can stop them from building anything from coding at the age of 13 to building security systems the journey of pranit in this week's tech tuesday driving in india is a painstaking task to add to it there is the issue of particulate pollution a solution to this menace is battery technology and at the helm of this change is chetan maini the co-founder of sun mobility and the founder of india's first electric vehicle reva the green energy advocate who has been instrumental in bringing shared mobility with shared energy in the country has big dreams for the future he's prepping for a massive expansion which means massive investments as well this brings ride hailing giant uber into the picture chetan's company is in talks with uber where it would add its technology to three wheeler vehicles those were the top stories from this week and this outfit was sponsored by ombre lane Check out the formal wear collection on their website and for more news and updates from the Indian startup ecosystem like share and subscribe